10 reasons why you should have sex with mangina. Oh no! Not Jenny McTransformadorf! Reason number one, they understand what it means to consent using four easy rules. I really do hope that your form of consent doesn't imply, you know, signing a consent form in order to have sex and then even then I have to ask permission to touch you at a certain place. Ugh, what a fucking nightmare. Rule number one, with sex only yes means yes. Maybe does not mean yes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I know where this is going. Can I kiss you? Yeah. Is this okay? Mm -hmm. Can I put my hand here? Yes. Do you like that? Mm-hmm. Wanna help me take off my shirt? Manginas also understand that their yes is equally important as well. Date rape is never an option. Rule two, manginas know that it is their responsibility to know if they have consent. Meaning, it isn't my responsibility to tell you. It is your responsibility to ask me if it's okay. Yep, I knew it, I fucking knew it. Rule three, Manginas do not assume that they have access to third base because they've arrived at second. So if me and my girlfriend decide to take each other's clothes off, I will still need to ask permission to have sex with her. In other words, every fucking step that I take in order to have sex with her requires permission. Do you know how annoying that shit is? If I have all my clothes off, you still should ask first. Just thinking about you naked makes me want to vomit into a pizza box and send it to Barack Obama. Manginas ask like a motherfucker. So in other words, fuck natural instincts. You know, natural instincts is completely evil. We gotta cleanse that shit. Rule four. If you're wasted, then you can't get or give consent. Manginas and lovers of manginas know better than to bang bar strangers because the next day both parties will wake up wondering if they're date rapists. Okay, two things. One, you can still give consent while being drunk, okay? Drunken sex is not rape. Second of all, how the fuck do you tell the difference between someone that's completely wasted who is incapable of making consent and, you know, that's someone who's completely so fucking drunk she can't even fucking move to someone who's just a bit tipsy. Okay, where the fuck do you draw the line? Manginas can still get their party on and get some love. They find out before they're completely wasted if they have access to the vagina. Reason number two. Manginas understand autonomy. Manginas understand what feminists truly fight for. <laughs> <laughs> what feminists really fight for. <laughs> ah, ah, that's cute. Which is to be treated equally while not being discriminated against and having the right to make their own decisions about the lives they lead. But for whatever reason, we gotta be extra gentle with the likes of yourself because equality. Manginas lack a need to assert their control in relationships. The only groups of people that I can think of that try to control people's sexuality is those fundamental Christians. Manginas, these sexy lovers of history, understand that men's rights have been considered inalienable and wish for women to experience the same feeling. And I'm pretty sure you have that, but it's just never enough. It's just never enough, you know? In order to be really fucking satisfied, you have to control the lives of men entirely. You know, dictate on what they eat, what they wear, when they sleep, when to have sex. You know, you gotta control all of that shit. Reason number three. Manginas admire beauty appropriately. How, 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 what? 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 How, how the fuck does someone admire beauty appropriately like 
Is there like an inappropriate way to admire beauty? Like, explain exactly how do you admire someone's beauty appropriately? Manginas understand that valuing women more for their brain than for their looks shows respect. Okay, first of all, most of the time people admire both the brain and the body of somebody else. Okay, I, I don't just admire someone's body. I admire their personality as well. Okay, it, it's not like I see every woman on the street as a walking blow-up doll for me to put my dick inside. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. Like, if a guy generally wants to know you better and generally wants to date you, then it will place your personality first, then your body. And when it comes to sex, then he's going to admire your body more than for your brains. Because, guess what? That's part of nature. That is part of human nature. Rather than cause discomfort by oogling at breasts, a mangina will avert his gaze and maybe if the two become more intimate later, tell her what a nice rack she has. Oh yeah, because apparently looking at boobs is one of the deadly seven sins of feminism. Okay, listen up, Jenny McDumbledorf. <laughs> You, you realize that I'm mispronouncing your name on purpose. Um, listen, okay? It, I, I rarely met a man that wants to look at your boobs for like two fucking hours. You know, just generally just look at your fucking boobs and be like, oh God, oh I gotta fuck those titties. Mm. Okay? And another thing is, if you don't want people staring at your breasts, then maybe you should cover them. You know, like maybe with a sweater or a t-shirt. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, why show cleavage if you don't want men to look at your cleavage? But uh, apparently, having some form of sexual attraction of looking at somebody's breast, some woman's breast, it's apparently one of the seven deadly sins of feminism. Next to uh, spreading your legs in the subway and calling a woman bossy. Reason number four. A mangina never uses the term feminazi to shame progressive feminists. Even to those feminists who believe that killing all men will help women all over the world, because apparently men are so fucking evil. Or how those feminists believe that all forms of penis and vagina sexual encounters is a form of rape. You know, regardless on the amount of consent that you give. It, even to those, when the word feminazi is basically slang for um, extreme feminism. I mean, holy fucking shit! Y you have no problem. Y you feminists have no fucking problem calling anyone who disagrees with you an MRA because apparently the word MRA is such a dirty word. But you know, feminism? Oh, it's such a perfect word. Why is it that people are using feminism as a dirty fucking word? It just doesn't make any fucking sense! A quick trip to Google will allow any edgelord to see that the term feminazi, a portmanteau that combines feminist with Nazi, was originally coined by right-wing douchebag Rush Limbaugh. Nazism was a political philosophy that involved totalitarian politics, the denial of rights, and a systematic plan for the genocide of several different populations, including Jews, gays, gypsies, and Slavs. But you're not being called a fucking Nazi. You're being called a feminazi because of your extremist fucking views. But hey, that doesn't stop you and your social justice warriors pals to compare Gamergate to fucking the KKK and the fucking Nazis. Feminism is a political philosophy that involves the democratic expansion of individual rights and a plea to end the violence and terror that is committed daily against women. 
Even with all the fucking evidence that's presented towards you, you'll still deny this shit. You'll still believe that women are 20 times more likely to be beaten up on the fucking street. They're more likely to be harassed. They're more likely to be raped thanks to this one in five bullshit. Ugh. We gotta create a safe heaven for women. But you know, the men, fuck them. They can all kill themselves because you know what? Men are violent, evil, and selfish. Rush Limbaugh believes that gays and women have too many rights, that Jews already control the world, and that America is too crowded with immigrants who should be deported and criminals that should be killed. Now, which philosophy is truly closer to Nazism? Judging from this video alone, I say they're just about even. Reason number five. A mangina understands what chivalry means. Feminism doesn't mean that buying me dinner sometimes is going to send me into a rage. And this is why manginas tend to have more dates with hot feminists. Well, the very fact alone that you're one of those quote unquote hot feminists pretty much makes me want to stay away from feminism as far as possible. And also, where the fuck do you even get this proof? Where's the proof? Where the fuck is the proof? I want to see it. Then their men's rights activist counterparts. If you feel the need to be polite to me on a date, there will most certainly be a second date. Because apparently someone being mean somehow gets you fucking dates? I mean, how the fuck do you need to be nice in order to get a date? You know, have a second date with someone? I mean, for fuck's sakes, you're gonna have to be yourself, right? So, in other words, you have to be fucking nice. I mean, how else are you gonna treat a woman, or a, a man, or anyone at the matter? What, you treat them like fucking assholes and they're automatically gonna start liking you? And maybe I'll pay on date number two. <laughs> you, paying for dates. <laughs> That's cute. P.S. I put out on date number two. Raison number six. Manginas are all about the orgasmic revolution. Manginas know how to please the ladies. By the power of consent, I ask permission! They do the trick where they spell out words and stuff. Manginas are gentlemen. They aren't, I get mine and then take a nap. The mangina is turned on when the vagina is turned on. That's the very first smart thing you ever said. Congratulations! Reason number seven, manginas pay child support. That's right, brosifs. If you didn't take the precautions that have been drilled into your head since grade five, then expect to have a child. Manginas take responsibility for their children and don't use an insignificantly small statistic of women who try to get money for illegitimate children to scare them away from being adults. Well, that's fair for a man to pay for child support as long as the women also pay for child support because, you know, divorce courts is pretty much fucking biased when it comes to, well, men. Nine out of 10 times, the woman holds custody of the child and men have to pay for child support. And even when a man gets paid, you know, gets the child, then guess what? He doesn't get paid as much as that of a woman. Reason number eight, manginas don't use tricks to get laid. Pickup artistry is for pussy ass bitches. Manginas would never use deceit in order to get some. Well, maybe these guys wouldn't have to play these games if you didn't have such ridiculous standards. You know, expecting men to not oogle at your breasts. I mean, holy shit! Your standards are so fucking ridiculous that you're actually forcing men not to be themselves in order to get a date with you! There are millions of human beings on this earth. What are the odds that if you act exactly like yourself, you will meet someone similar to you? I say those odds are pretty good. Except the fact that you want men to fit your fucking standards. 
Reason number nine, manginas refuse to assert their masculine power. Being strong, powerful, aggressive, or violent are not turn-ons. Okay, the fact alone that plenty of women enjoy Fifty Shades of Grey, it, 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 it pretty much proves you wrong, okay? There are plenty of women that love masculine men. And hell, I'm pretty goddamn sure you would love a man that's completely fucking muscular. I bet you would want that. You want to have sex with that kind of guy. But, I, I, I could be wrong. Maybe you don't want muscular men. Maybe you just want a skinny, pathetic man to have sex with. And the mangina does that thing where they're doing something awesome and they don't know they're doing it, and we love it, by avoiding those behaviors. Because apparently every woman in the fucking world hates masculine men. Fuck you. The old, powerful, masculine dude thing is cliche and lame, and the mangina knows this. Reason number 10. And the final reason why manginas are the sexiest fish in the sea is their ability to listen. Rather than tell feminists what they think they're about, they gain understanding through using those gorgeous eyes and ears. So basically, you follow the same ideology of that of Nita Sarkeesian. Just listen to believe. Just listen to believe to a woman and you know what? You're golden. You're fucking golden. Manginas avoid reacting in a defensive manner. They pay attention rather than feel guilty for being men. You're literally trying to shame men for being either too masculine or just ogling at your breast. You know, having some form of sexual attraction towards your fucking breast. You're trying to make men feel guilty about themselves, you cackling cunt. If they disagree with what is being said, they don't react by attacking. They express their thoughts while finding common ground. In other words, as long as someone doesn't completely disagree with you, then that's fine. Jenny, I am at my boiling point with you. Like, I am seriously am about to explode on the amount of sheer stupidity within this fucking video. This entire fucking video pretty much proves that you are nothing more than an extremist fucking feminazi. This is why the term mangina is no insult. My girlfriends and I stay up all night in our lingerie while having pillow fights and kissing and moan over all the manginas we wish we could be with. I wouldn't have sex with you. I wouldn't. The, the amount of crazy ass standards that you have along with the feminist community? I think I'd rather be fucking castrated than to have sex with you. And I see what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. You're, you're, you're trying to get men to join the feminazi side because sex sells. You know, feminism sells sex. Therefore, if a man becomes a quote-unquote mangina, they'll automatically get girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, th this is totally fucking believable. Whatever happened to having a nice personality? I mean, whatever happened to talking to women normally, you know, instead of adjusting yourself into this pathetic standard that only feminists can enjoy, you know, why? Why the fuck do we need to fit into this pathetic standard just to have sex with you? Too bad most of the good ones are already taken. Become a main giant today and get a free blowjob from Jenny McDormbot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Most of this information, if not all of it, can be found in the book, The Guy's Guide to Feminism, uh, written by Michael Kaufman and Michael Kimmel. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Fucking knew it. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. They saw me as a queen, but wary of the greed. Would I be what you need? Would it lead to more defeat? Would I just be a notch on your brain? It means I saw love in your eyes. That is the world's laziest dance. I mean, holy 
fucking shit. You dance like a white girl. Oh wait, you are a white girl. Holy shit, that's even worse.